my yarns for my next cast on and I do know that one of my cast ons is going to be the Soul Sister socks and they are done in a pattern in kind of rainbow colours so I'm going to use that as my inspiration. So I've looked out past the rainbow here on the set. Very rough colours because I don't really have all the colours of the rainbow. And then I, as I was looking for other yarns, I got to thinking, why not do a bright coloured one? And I am loving the look of this. If I turn the other way, you get all the colours. So out of my comfort zone, but I am loving it. And I think as a coronavirus project, rainbow socks are going to be awesome. So... I'm going to save my mini rainbow, my um, pastel rainbow, for another project and I'm going to definitely cast on with these amazing colours. Um, some of these I got from these stashes, like this one, and these ones I think, I think that was in my Down Sheepy Lane advent calendar, I think that was, these were all from the same D stash. Um, that one I had from a, a swap, I don't know what it is but it's beautiful yarn. And this one I think is a burrow and sore. So we've got a very rough rainbow. I don't have red. Well, I do have red. I've got red from my Christmas socks, but it's proper bright red waist Yorkshire spinners. This is what I would call coral. It's a beautiful colour. But I think I'm going to go slightly off rainbow piece here and I'm going to stick with the coral because I think it's beautiful. So that is making me really happy already. So what I need to do is divide each one into two so I can knit my socks two at a time. Um, I'm not going to worry too much that I've got different sizes of different colours because who cares. Um, probably I might weigh all that and see what it weighs. It's probably going to be more than I need for a pair of socks. So obviously with the bigger balls I won't use all of it. And there's quite a lot of that there and that is probably a 20 gram mini. I definitely won't need all of that. But um, I think the socks are toe up so I can start with a beautiful coral toe dug out some other yarn as well, just to move that aside for a second and show you what I've pulled out that just kind of spoke to me for a nice easy vanilla knit and I found this yarn in my stash, it's Drops Fable, this is a 50 gram ball, I love the colours, so so soothing aren't they, so um, it's only 50 grams so I'll probably need to add in something else, I've got this one here which matches nicely, um, can't remember what that is, maybe Grundle? hot socks type of thing. I have no idea what it is. Um, probably find a label in one of my notebooks somewhere but it goes nicely and I thought a bit of cream maybe in there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I don't know whether to keep them completely vanilla or maybe do rows or stripes or I'm not sure how that would work. Yeah I have no idea what I'm going to do. I need to think about that one but I'm definitely going to use this one next. It's so pretty. I'm just thinking about doing some journaling in my scrapbook and I'm going to print off some more photos so I just thought I would show you again the printer that I've got. This is Canon Selfie and um, it looks all dusty but it has been inside its case here so I think it's just sort of dust from the case. Um, so you can see it's not exactly a pocket size printer but it's not as big as a normal size one either. And I'm just going to set it up to print some pictures. Um, I film the vlog on my phone and I print the photos from my phone so I can't actually film the whole process. Um, so the paper tray goes in the front here, just clicks in and then I'm going to have to set my phone up to connect over the Wi-Fi and then I'm going to print some pictures and I can show you them once they've come in. I completely forgot to take any more videos of printing out my pictures. I've just filled in my tracker. Um, I really should do it more often because I couldn't quite remember the days I had done yoga or not. Um, it's okay with the runs because they are recorded on my running app. I use an app on my phone called Map My Run and I also use that for walks and can use it to cycle as well. just gives you your mileage which we like to track. Joshua's made himself a tracker for his mileage while he's off school. 
and he's really enjoying filming that in every day because he comes with me when I go for a run he'll be on his bike so I printed off some photos of my birthday presents some of them that I received aren't they so pretty I had to get a photo of those all wrapped in Kath Kidson paper so so pretty and I printed off a photo of the rose that I was sent. Now, this is the Queen of Sweden. I took this picture off the internet, probably from the David Austin page. Um, this is a picture of what the rose looks like. This is a picture that Gaina, who's Tales from Cuckoo Land, showed me on her Instagram because this is the same bush, the same plant. And it was Gaina and some other friends that sent me the rose. So I hope she doesn't mind me pinching her photo. Um, and that's the card that has a message on the back so I wanted to make a little pocket for that to go in so I've just used the photo of the rose and stapled it on to make a pocket and there's that paper that um, print stick leaves some dirty marks sometimes you know when it's uh, dried that's the wrapping paper that I showed you the other day that I wanted to have on the page as well so just spent a nice little bit of time this afternoon um, this is Sunday the 29th of March so I've just sat and done that um, and I'm getting in a jolly mess, but I'm enjoying myself. Um, so I have more pages. Um, I did print off some more pictures. What have we got? We've got Joshua here. No hands on his bike. Not the safest thing to be doing at the moment. Um, I just thought a really cool photo. Um, and I've also printed off a nice little relaxation one. I just thought that was a nice little picture I'll just pop that in and I really like this picture that I took yesterday I was playing about with some wool trying to decide on colours for my pair of socks um I just thought I made a pretty picture pop that one on my Instagram feed as well but I think that will make a nice picture to have in my notebook um I do keep trying to keep my pages simple but I just can't do it I've got that fear of blank pages so there's not a lot of blank space. Although when I'm looking at others on Instagram and on Pinterest, I really like the minimal kind of look. Not too minimal, but I just find it really hard to do myself. So I do keep starting off trying to be quite minimal. But um, yeah, I do, do tend to fill the pages up quite a lot. The only thing about that is it's making my pages, making my notebook pretty thick. But that's okay, I love that look. It looks well loved and well used. So um, it's just gone four o'clock, so I think I'm going to have to think about dinner shortly. I might have time to quickly just do, that, isn't that a lovely picture? Just to quickly do a really simple page for one of these. I'm just going to have one picture on the page and then a few other elements. So I might try and do, maybe do that one. I like doing... Um, pictures with Joshua in because I usually tend to include some brighter colours when I'm doing those ones especially here we've got this one didn't print out quite so bright on the cat on the printer um, it usually prints out pretty well but I think maybe I need to have my photo set a little darker because they do print out slightly lighter and so this one's going to be a fun one to include lots of blue and um, green, I think. That would be nice, give it a bit of a pop of colour. And um, Joshua seems to wear the same colours a lot, so a lot of pages, including him, are quite bright like that. I'm sure I did another one with him in it. Oh, there's... No, that's not Joshua, but it's a blue and green page. I have to remember what I've got. I've got some green wax there, so I could use that on the page for Joshua's one. Gosh, all these pictures from springtime a few weeks ago, looking back at them now, we're in coronavirus lockdown. It feels really weird when we had all that freedom to go out, go to Fulton Palace and go out for walks. I'm not really going to be documenting um, lockdown in here because it's not particularly exciting. But I'm just going to use this as the opportunity to record little happy moments and that is exactly what these are, my little pictures.
just been piecing together bits and pieces of some film here and there. Um, just trying to video some little happy clips from our days and things I've been up to and what I've been working on. Um, and I just realised that there would be uh, none of me chatting to the camera because I haven't even spoke to the camera for the past few days. So I just thought I'd better say hi. I'm still here. Um, we are just trying to get along and just trying to focus on some nice happy moments and things that we are enjoying. There's absolutely no kind of forced schoolwork going on, not too much stress, it's all very laid back. Um, we have had some nice messages from school saying don't stress yourself out, anything sent home via the website is kind of optional and they are not expecting anything of us at all which is really nice um but like most people we are setting some tasks for joshua and he's quite happy to do well the bare minimum shall we say um he's currently outside banging away with some wood in the garden he's obviously got some plan up his sleeve of something that he needs to make um i've just been out sowing some seeds which felt really nice um, and there's a little square patch of gardens about a metre by metre. I think I'm going to try and make that into a little veg patch this year. Um, I do try and grow veg here and there. don't really have a lot of space, so the space we've got is kind of... Um, there's a fight for whether to put flowers in it, which is what usually wins, or whether to try and do some veg. Veg is quite hard for me because we do have a lot of snails. Um, so although I seem to start off successfully, um, the snails have other ideas and things just don't quite work. But I did receive a lovely gift of some pet friendly snail and slug deterrents, um, like pellets. So weirdest gift ever, but probably the most useful. And um, I'm going to give them a go this year. Um, so yeah, we've just been, I've had a look through the seeds and sorted somehow. So. Joshua wants to plant everything that we find in the box. I'm going to have to keep it to a minimum though because the space is really um, at minimum as well. So it will be small, compact, easy to grow things. We've got plenty of seeds um, and I know what I'm doing. I just ha haven't got the garden to do it, unfortunately. Um, so we're going to see how we get on with a little patch and I've put some things like rocket and lettuce into some pots, popped them in the mini greenhouse and um, rather than letting them grow into full-size lettuces, we'll just use it as cut and come again. Um, that works pretty well for us. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and put together the videos that I've been taking over the past few days and pop a little video up for you. I um, can't show you too much in the sewing room because I am well underway with the project bags for the mystery box. And the yarn is arriving any day now, which is really exciting. So, um, despite everything that's going on in the world, the boxes are coming together okay. Phew! Um, they're my priority at the moment. I know a lot of you have been waiting on some shop updates. Um, that is at the bottom of my list of priorities at the moment. Um, once the boxes are done and out the way in a few weeks' time, then I'll be able to get back to making stock for the shop. I've also been trying not to make things bigger items because then that means I have to go to the post office to post them. So um, again, that's another reason why I haven't been rushing to make bigger items. I'm going to um, plan some smaller things like the bookmarks. Um, you seem to love those. They go quite quite quickly when I make them and it's a good use of my scraps. Um, and it will be a nice little change from making project bags for the boxes. Um, so yeah, I've came in now. I'm going to get washed up from sowing some seeds and I'm going to start dinner. So I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye. Cast on a new pair of socks. These are just going to be nice simple vanillas. Um, I've changed the colour that I'm going to use with it because the other colour I had was so similar to one of the colours that's already in this wool and I didn't think you'd see it. Although now that I've started knitting I realise this colour is actually quite similar to what's in the wool. So it's a very subtle stripe so I'm doing two, two rows of each colour. Um, I've just actually frogged a bit of them because I tried to add in a little pattern section but I didn't like it so I've taken that out. Um, so I'm liking the stripes although they're kind of hard to see at night when I'm knitting watching TV in the evening if it gets a bit darker. I'm using the toe, the beanie toe that is in the Soul Sister Socks pattern although I've done it wrong. <laughs> um, I've picked up the stitch the wrong way so you pick up the bar to make a stitch so I've ended up with a little 
eyelet kind of toe, but it's actually quite pretty. So I'm going to go with that. Um, I haven't cast on my other socks yet. I have brought the wool down because I need to sort it into smaller balls, like divide them into two so that I can do two at a time. Um, so that's just waiting to get done. But you know what it's like when you cast on new socks, you're desperate to see what the yarn looks like knitted up. So I've been knitting on these and I think I've just frogged either four or six rows that I tried to do the pattern on. I, it was a moss stitch pattern I was doing, but I didn't like it. So it's come out. So they are just going to be nice, simple vanillas with these nice soothing colours. And I've dug out my favourite project bag. She's got cats on it, of course, and a nice pretty lining. And I'm going to sort this out in a minute. <laughs> 